March 25th curriculum continued because the first eight minutes of our first video was at getting coffee. It's important to be caffeinated. And alternating side lunge down for round three, uh, either reverse bear crawl or you could do reverse inchworm. So they're actually doing a little bit more pushing forward and stretching the hamstrings out. I'm, I like that. I like that. Reverse inchworm. Yeah, that's a good one. That dog on. Uh, plank position. They help. Superman's? Yeah. Wow, this is a very involved warm up. It's gonna be. They're gonna be warm. Only got 25 minutes straight into wall balls and deadlifts and assault biking and stuff like that. Okay, Tuesday. We've got. Uh, post-workout strength of upper body horizontal push pull as well as um, lower body stability and the metcon that they're going to do is three sets for total reps 30 second burpee 30 second rest 60 second ski 60 second rest uh, 90 second row 90 second rest mm. well I think a general warm-up for today would be rowing for sure Rolling. Rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. With a penalty of... Remember, they just smoked their shoulders. I know, that's why it's so difficult. Uh... About every calorie you go over, is it three seconds on a wall sit. Well, they already have wall sits in the one. In the wall sits in the post workout strength. Oh, I didn't read the post workout. Yeah, um, doesn't read my stuff. <sighs> this is why dealing with you is such a nightmare. Um, damn, dude, they did so much stuff yesterday that like, I there's not a lot of good ways to like. What about lateral hops over the router? Okay. Scaled could be just quick steps back and forth over the router. I really don't want anyone to eat it over a router. Specific. So they're going straight into ski, burpee, and rowing. I'm going to want the heart rate up a little bit. I think today's a good day for an EMOM. Okay. So, definitely want some inverted, inverted row in there. 10, 8. Uh, do some payoff. Mm. They got rowing and skiing and burping. It's a lot of interior movements. Oh my so God, you figured out that screen too. What screen? Why did it work for you? The camera. Oh, oh, this is how it was when you did it. I literally just pressed record again. Trying to figure that all day. I was really on top of it today. This is how we roll, <laughs> figure I'll things out. out. Basically uh, a pro, pro production crew. <laughs> but yeah, so they have... They just have a lot of interior flexion and extension. And yeah. I'm thinking... I want to do... An, it's it's an anterior payoff. So you're down on your knees. The rig behind you bands up high. And you pull down and hold here. So you're basically resisting. Oh, okay. It's like an anti-extension. Yeah. Okay. Uh... So we want to like we can do a picture of that. I don't think we need a whole video, but we can picture what this like take a picture of what the setup looks like. How many? Uh, well, that I want a little more like a time domain. So like, it's an email. Well, so what do we? What's the first minute? Inverted row. Inverted row. Yeah, I would say thirty seconds. Okay. Uh, probably need something a little more shouldery. I concur. Um, they already got this motion, so... What if we do the payoff alphabet? 
because that's a shoulder and an anti rotation or at neutral. Yeah, so that would be anti rotation as well as some good shoulder work. So A to Z each side, okay. and then uh, that's three stations on a nine minute E mom. If we want to bump it up, we can make it twelve, but that's almost enough considering. I just want to get their heart rate up a little bit. I just want to add like something else to like the banded alphabet. Because if you figure, if you go A to Z on each side, that's probably 30 seconds. Yeah. So a fourth minute of something a little more aerobic. Yeah. What if we do uh, maybe like 15 or 20 like floor to ceiling jumps? Like the ones where you tap the ground yeah. up as high as you can. I think, yeah. Okay. I think that would work, right? Yeah, that works. Okay. Wednesday, endurance day for the endurance class. Uh, but class wad, we are doing sumo deadlifts and a one mile time trial. So that's the whole workout, like the one mile. Basically. Yeah. And what we're okay. going to do is I think we'll have two warm ups, one to precurse the deadlift. And then we're going to do another running drill activation before the one mile time trial. Are you going to do the deadlift before the run? Yeah. That... Mm. Not really a fan, man. Not really a fan? We can switch uh, it out. I, it, just looking at like heavy, heavy loading of the hamstrings and then asking for like rapid eccentric concentric after like. So what about flipping it? One mile I would, time yeah, I would definitely okay. suggest flipping it. Like are the weights going to be as high in the deadlift? No, no, probably not. But like I would rather. I'd rather see that after. Yeah. It'll be good and warm. It'll be limber, but like, I don't know. The risk of a hamstring strain after doing like heavy deadlifts and then asking for max effort run is just me. Okay. Ooh, we could have some fun with that, the structure wise. We could make it a 30 minute clock, run one mile, use the remaining time to build to the top five reps so people can kind of rest and stuff like that if you're running a super fast five minute or yeah. like a five to eight minute mile yeah then you can take like 10 minutes off well i think everyone should have to take like five we want to do off. we want to take a decent amount of time off we also want to do some activation stuff for it yeah so okay it'd be good to commit well so i guess in the warm-up we can do like a lot of glute meat stuff to get lateral stability of the knee ready okay. and so pre running warm-up uh, uh relay drills Relay drills for sure. Do we want to do anything outside of that? Uh, yeah, I want to do the uh, lateral lateral walks. I know we did them, what, the day before, maybe two days before, but uh, I would like to do a little circuit of, like, side plank clamshell. Uh, I guess back against wall, like side plank leg raise. Something to make sure people don't cheat. Okay. Just something to get away from the lateral walk with the bands. I'm still looking for glute meat, but just something different. And then... Mm, that. Actually, I think that would be... Well, and then we could have them do... Uh, Bunny hops for calves. Okay. Just to make sure calves are good warm. So like twenty bunny hops. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say fifty feet. Yeah, yeah, fifty feet works. Okay. Uh, pre deadlift warm up. So they'll be generally warm, but we'll want some gluten hinge activation. Yeah. Band a good morning. Band a good morning. Thanks. See you later, Annie. Hey, Annie. Uh, let's do the uh, single leg deadlift. Okay. So right hand to left foot, left hand to right foot. Approaching free recording limit. Yeah, 26 yeah, seconds. Yeah, God, yeah. three videos. It takes us half an hour to do this, Zach. Whoa. Jeez, we got to work on our efficiency. It's because we care. That is. Luckily, we got to start a little early, so. Okay. Um, okay. All right. And then 
teman-teman.